I don't know, I'm off for that, so I wouldn't be doing another. Ah, right. Hello, folks. Hopefully, you can see me. And I'm not quite a famous boulder and we've been going for a while. I've got Mark behind me here, I've got Jerry as well. We're just going to stop and layer up here. We've been going for maybe a wee while, haven't we, Mark? We have. Yeah, so uh, I came up last night and then we uh, I stayed the night in the van, then met up with Mark and Jerry. And then we've been walking up through some forested areas and we're thinking of doing a climb, but we're not quite sure yet. We're going to have to have a look, aren't we? Uh, we'll see. Oh, here he is. Did you get lost? No, I had to see a man about a dog. All oh, right, you had to see a man about a dog. There's anyway. a dog down there. <laughs> There's a man. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to get a layer on to snout and we'll report back and we'll swing you around when we report back and you'll see exactly where we are because it's quite a well known mountain. It's right. a well known boulder. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Some people might know where we are. Right, get a wee layer on. Ooh. Glad I've, glad I've got my, uh, my layer on. Well, you, can, oh. you can see, I'll <laughs> come round here. That's the snow on. Um, it's not snowed the whole way up. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I put the layer on when I did. Aye. We're at the Narnine Boulders, aren't we? Which is quite a famous... Famous land. house. Famous house. Famous house. And we're going to go up the cobbler, aren't we? The uh, yeah. plan is to do something on the cobbler. Yeah. Uh, if, if the conditions allow. Oh, uh, <laughs> Maybe sunshine. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to head up. We'll have a wee look. Um, we've been, as I said earlier, we've been on the go. We kind of left at about sun sunrise, didn't we? And we've been walking up through the forest. And yeah, once you get above the forest, it opens up, and the view to the cobbler is just fantastic. So yeah, let's go and see. What so we let's can go find. and see if we can see a hand in front of our face. <laughs> That's it. We snow. There you go. Oh, it's a bit icy here, isn't it? right? Well, hopefully you can see the cobbler now behind us. <laughs> It's quite a distinctive peak, although it's not a Monroe. It's probably one of the more popular mountains in the area, isn't it? Yeah, an iconic mountain. Yeah, there's three peaks in it. There's a South Peak, Central Peak and the North, North Peak, peak yeah. which is fantastic. There's a good book that might describe this. Does your book have a route in it? <laughs> yeah, it, it does. does have a, it Jerry's does. book has a route in it. I'll put a link in the description below, but yeah, we were going to try and go up the South, um, south Ridge, but it's really windy, so I think it might be a bit more exposed. So we're going to go and have a look and see if there's anything else, maybe a bit more sheltered. Hopefully, and, uh, hopefully get there. Yeah, the tools out and Aye, get yeah, a wee bit of get climbing done. Well, here he is. And the man himself. Oh. Right, let's go. It's cold, isn't it? Aye, aye, it's cold, isn't it? Chilly. On we went and we were soon climbing up the slopes of the cobbler and as we gained some height we got into the snow and things were looking quite promising as we headed towards one of the routes. The ground's starting to get a wee bit steeper now so time to get the, an axe out. And uh, yeah, head on a bit further. <laughs> the guys are a bit ahead of me, but just wanted to get a nice axe out just now. It was a northerly airflow, and the slopes we were going up were actually south facing, so the closer we got, to the climb and the cliffs, the more sheltered we got from the wind, which was quite nice, but the ground was starting to get steeper, so we were approaching the start of the gully, hoping it would be in condition. So we're going to go and see what this gully is like here, it's called Great Gully, and we're going to go and have a look at it, so it's just me to the camera. <laughs> right, it's going to get geared up here, right? Ooh. Right, we get geared up, Jerry and Marcus behind me. I'm going to see if we can get up here. It's quite nice. We're out of the wind here, which is nice, but we're switching to the action cam for a wee while at the top, so yeah, I'll put this camera away. We'll report back later on. Let's see if we can get up here. Woohoo! Okay, yeah, good to go.
So the crux of the gully is probably right at the start. There's a few chalk stones which block the way. And if it was banked out a bit more and there was more snow, you can sometimes get up and round to the left, but there was just enough room to squeeze through, and it certainly was a tight squeeze. Mark went up first, followed by Jerry, and you can see how tight it was. Not a place to be if you're claustrophobic, that's for sure. Can I pull through again? You're through, ah, you're through. <laughs> you might think so. <laughs> Whilst I was watching Jerry and Mark going through from my nice wee position at the bottom of the gully, I soon realised it was going to be time for me to head up and try and squeeze through the gap as well. But anyway, before that, Jerry had to get up and over. <laughs> That's a bit of a move. Great. After squeezing through the narrow cleft, you end up, end up in a small cave and it's quite a tricky move to get out of it, which Jerry did nice and easily. Anyway, it was soon time for me to have a go. Get off, Billy! Take out and run! i just give you an idea where we are. Just come up from down there. Then uh, we're going to climb up and round here. Hopefully, so up and round. And up, so I'm going to put this away again. I'll pull it back in a wee while. Look at that. So the tricky steps were done, and we were now into the gully proper, which wasn't too difficult. I think it goes at grade two, and I soon reached the uh, the belay point for pitch two and fell down a big hole, as you can see there, right up to my oxters. Just glad Mark had me nice and tight in the rope. I didn't know how deep it went down there. <laughs> anyway, I soon climbed out of the hole and uh, got ready for uh, the second half of the climb yeah. of the gully. Yeah. Oh, right, so we are ready to do setting pitch. And if I spin you around, you see marks going up there. It's, a, it's quite a difficult move, actually. It's quite tricky. Up there, uh, up you under there. So I'll bring you back probably once I'm over there and uh, near the top of the gully. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So Mark made it over the. The second tricky step, which is about halfway up the gully, is quite a tricky move, especially when the conditions are relatively lean. If the gully was a bit more banked out, it would be a lot easier. But uh, Anyway, I was soon over it too. And then it's a lovely gully climb to reach the top of what is the north peak of the Cobbler. And it's not over yet though, you do have to sort of bear with it. And uh, the, the slope and the gully walls do steepen as you head towards the top. But being last, I had the rope ahead of me and um, yeah, it was lovely. It was nice just getting some movement and getting some heat back into the, the limbs. It's the only thing about winter climbing. You can get awful cold when you're stood on the bully ledge, um, get the hot aches and things. But Anyway, I was warmed up by the time I reached the top uh, where Mark and Jerry were awaiting me. <laughs> No, I dropped the big head, the big thing happened if I didn't get it and it didn't go out below me. Got the big camera out again, hopefully you can see us. There's Mark, there's Jerry, and just behind us, let me just see if I can swing around just to show you all. I'm not going too close to the edge, but that down, right down there. Jerry's pointing at it. Was the route we, we can't really see it, to be honest with you, but yeah, it was good fun, wasn't it, Jerry? It was good yeah. fun. But anyway, we're going to go up to the North Peak, which is just here. Might report back up there and uh, then we'll decide what we're going to do. So, yeah, we'll report back in a wee while. Right, right go. the ready team. <sighs> right, we've made it to the top, but this is the North Peak we're on and Great Gully is just down there, isn't it, Jerry? It's just over the back of it. Just us. there, yep. Just over there. So, we're, I don't think we're going to go to the top today, are we? The three peaks, the uh, central no, peak. No, I think we're centre. Let well, me just come over here so it's yeah. behind us, right? So, so, so behind Jerry there. Oh, it's just gone in the cloud. 
Well, no, that's the deer. Central the peak deer. Central there. peak deer. That's the top where you thread the needle. Yeah. Which we've done before. I'll put some footage up of us doing that, which was in the summer. But uh, we're going to head down to the beer like down there. And I think we'll, we'll go down to the beer like a vein. Oh, we'll we'll go down way. that way because yeah. it's a it's an easier descent than the way we came up with less post tolling. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is the top of this south no North Peak. North Peak. And yep. Some of the routes are some famous. What did you say, Punster? So this this is the exit of uh, Punster's this Crack, day, yeah. which this is day. an absolute classic. Yeah. Uh, Around yeah, that's that uh, wall. top just there. Don't know how much you're seeing of this or not. It looks a bit, a bit big, foggy. And then big raven guys. flying about. Yeah, so guys there, and then down to Loch Long down yonder. Yeah, to the first of Clyde actually. Right, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit cloudy, so we'll uh, we'll head. We'll start heading down. We'll turn you around. It's proper cold, isn't it? Yeah, it's cold. We'll head down and we'll report back. We are on, right? Yeah. Report back now, you will. Right, I'll be the same. Right, it's come down a wee bit. We're just going to get our harnesses off and our crampons off. What was uh, what's this beer like called, Jerry? Beer like a vame. Beer like a vame. So we've come down this way as opposed to the other way. Um, then we follow the path down, so... Yeah, maybe get a bite to eat here. I've got a couple of Scotch eggs. <laughs> <laughs> I might introduce some new, uh, new food next week. I've got an idea. Which doesn't involve pork pie or Scotch eggs. Stay tuned. <laughs> right. Let's go. Right. Do you ah. <laughs> No, it's footprints. So having taken our crampons off and our ice axes away, we were soon back on the main path which took us back down the mountain. And as we descended, we dropped below the snow line and it seemed such a different world down here. You can see why some people might leave home or even leave the car park and not realise how icy and how wintry the conditions can be just a few hundred metres up. Anyway, there's a wee stream where we washed our boots and we were soon almost back at the car. What another fine adventure. Thanks for watching, stay safe out there and I'll see you on the next adventure.